to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Green Hill Classic is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Bean here as we keep an eye on this player who's been trailing in the tournament but has a real opportunity today. They do. They need to get out there, though, and start firing at some flags. They've been playing very conservative all week long, and you can't continue to do that with any hopes of winning. You have to go ahead and start trying to take advantage of the conditions. Hit it close a few more times. And until they start doing that, I don't see them uh, catching the leaders. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. And let's see what he can do here today. That was wonderfully done. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpar score. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first. Great job. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Look, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. John, what's going on out there? Well, I'm down here on the third hole. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, oh, you beauty, an eagle. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. Second shot on the second. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Getting ready to play their third. from a dodgy lie, Rich. How special was that? Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. He's in a share of fifth position. Love the strategy of a short par four. Good luck here. <laughs> oh, 
Well, it looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Oh, I love that aggressive play. Gotta love it. Taking out the big stick and going ahead and walloping it right onto the green. worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. He's currently tied for second. They should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Trying to work a little draw into this flag. Well, a little off the target with that one. Not taking enough club to get it there. down oh that's the hands of a surgeon lovely touch yes very smooth tempo there on that chip that's a good putt for par you'll take it gotta say putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead Time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. That one's heading down Broadway. Rich, I might have to put in my apologies there. Yeah, I kind of think you need to. That is really in an awful spot. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? This one's first cut, and not too deep into that first cut either. This might not be all that bad. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Oh, well hold for Eagle. Well, what a way to make a move to the top of the leaderboard. He's currently sitting in first place. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the Eagle.
Second shot here on the sixth. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. A wonderful shot. Well played. A chance for Birdie here at the sixth. This is a good chance. Oh, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Now two shots up after that one. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. John, what's this one looking like? Well, guys, it's in the first cut, and it's it's kind of like down into it, too. So I'm going to need to do a fair bit of work to get out of here. Oh, absolutely flushed. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Outstanding approach shot. Just three feet to the cup. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. We have a par four on this one. Luke, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Yeah, that one will play. Coming off a string of three birdies. <laughs> oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Tracking. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And 
staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. I'm pretty sure this play will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Already has four wins under the belt this year. Well, this is a good risk reward hole. Looks like they're taking plenty of risk here. Going for the green. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Looking better. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. And coming off the eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. Going with the hybrid. Oh, well done. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Looks like a 24-foot putt. He's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And it's time to recap that play. He sits in first position. Of here on the 12th hole. What a gargantuan tee shot. from about 130 yards here. Back into the wind, they need to flight this one down. Going with the nine iron, I think. Well, this one's right at the pin. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. 
Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> Came close with that chip. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Now six shots in front after that hole. Always exciting when you stand up on the tee on a short par four. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Second shot here on the 13th. And a good look at Birdie here. Hey, that's a chance. And mark it down. That's Birdie number seven on the scorecard. This is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Choosing the 9 iron here. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. This one here, this is for back to back birdies, moving them in the right direction. Was on a good line. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Oh, well played. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. And John, uh, how long's this putter? It seems to be a fair way. This putt's about 23 feet, guys.
Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This one's for birdie. And that's eight birdies today. Now, five shots up after that hole. You've arrived at a par four. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? He may be thinking about going for the green here. Got all of that one, using all the power to try and take it deep under par. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. And there it is. Let's head over to the 17th. That is a pure looking draw. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. And I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. And in it goes. What a shot. Oh, got to love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Still in the lead now after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That should find the fairway. Second shot here at the 18th. Opting for the hybrid, I think.
Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Wow, what a shot. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Just didn't drop. Terrific shot. Almost an eagle. And that signs off on today's round. And through 36 holes, this player continues to shine out there in top spot. They're feeling awfully good about their game, aren't they? But there's lots of golf left to play. They need to make sure they go out and continue to play in the front foot and try and get this thing done. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.